Good morning. Uh, so yesterday, um, finished off, um, running out of time, uh, when I was just building, uh, trying to fix, um, the Nix OS, uh, CI build, um, for Snippet Pixie. Um, and I, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't long after, um, that I'd finished the thing and got on with my day that I suddenly realized, just popped into my head as to why, why I was having problems. What I, what I was previously doing was I was doing something like, um, Nix shell peer to try and get into a Nix shell environment with all the programs and everything in place and then go in, um, then do things like a make and stuff like that. Um, I guess I was probably trying to do it here. Um, but you can't do that because every line in the source hut build, um, definition is a new shell, a new invocation. So, um, what I had to do instead, um, is as you see here, um, is run a command via the Nix shell. So here I'm doing, um, Nix shell pure so that it's a completely clean shell with only whatever I specify in the shell. Um, and then I am running the command make and then down on this tests, I'm running the, uh, X virtual frame buffer, uh, run command to then run the make test because that depends on some X services. Um, and the shell is nice. It's nice and simple now. I just cleaned it up last night. Um, so, um, it just has the build inputs and they're going to hang around, um, while the shell is invoked. Um, so it's got GCC, which I don't technically need to think because that's basically part of the standard environment for, um, Nix stuff because it's going to build things when you're doing a shell. Um, but new make go, um, the thing that was causing the problem, which was obviously libx 11. Um, and then this, um, X virtual frame buffer for doing the tests. So that I finished it off last night, did a little quick test of that and that works fine. So, um, it pops in, does the Nix, Nix shell pure run make, uh, which on the first invocation of the shell has to do um, copy in of all the packages that it needs. Um, then it actually does the, the make itself here, which is fine. Works okay. And then for the test, when it does the next shell, it doesn't need to do any packaging because it's already done it on the, on the build. Um, and then the tests will pass. Um, I also then applied those same changes for the um xvf vfb run to the ubuntu and arch so they both pull in the package they need and then do the uh the run of the test up there so that was all fixed up which is good um that's nice it's nice to have that up and running again um with x services being run in ci which is Pretty cool. That's a really handy little feature that XVFB run. So today, um, what we're going to do, um, I need to kind of finish off a few bits and bobs. I need to tidy up. Um, we've left a few things, um, a few loose ends. Um, let's have a look. Um, let me get a shot of that now. Uh, one thing that's been irking me is the help um, messages. Um, I don't have a proper help command for the subcommands, and I don't have 
um, any kind of indication that there are subcommands when you run just normal help. So I need to tidy that up because that was I was playing with the CLI yesterday and um, checking those kind of things. I know it was all wrong. Um, and then after that, um, possibly want to look at the import just to clean up the subcommand and stuff because we haven't got one before we dive into the more um, juicy things um, such as the auto expansion and possibly f maybe before that fixing this string f time thing to use local but um, there's a workaround for that at the moment you just put in a date format which is your own so it's not urgent but it would be nice to sort that out so but we'll come to that so let's do some just some hopefully easy-ish stuff today um and just kind of sort out the help messages so what we've we got so far uh right so let's focus in on here just make sure that's made, yeah. So at the moment, if you do snip a pixel on its own, you get that as the help messages. There's no mention there of the subcommands. Um, and I think it's actually impossible to get just the help commands for subcommands, unless you kind of do something wrong. So if I try and do Snippet Pixie, well, it doesn't even mention that there is a help because there isn't. If I try and do like help add, you're just going to get the top level. If I do Snippet Pixie add, you do get the help message for add. But as soon as you try and actually just give me the help, it's not going to work. So those two um, issues I have is one I need to create some way of help subcommand but I also want to fix up this so that it mentions the subcommands so I guess right clean out these I guess don't need these at the moment and we'll look at config because that's where it happens so in the init we currently look for these top level sub commands uh, it's missing an import because we haven't done that yet um, what we really need um, is we need a help subcommand, um, and we also need a way of letting people know that there is such a thing as a help subcommand. Um, so let's do that. Um, well, first of all, this. So if a subcommand isn't found, we drop down to the default flag set, which has all the sort of legacy things in it. Um, which might be something that I need to switch around. I do keep thinking whether, or wondering rather, whether the subcommands should be more prominent in this version, a little bit more useful in general easier to work with, cleaner. So maybe, maybe we should split this up. It 
it's difficult to do that, isn't it, once you've got those got those commands. I think Decisions, decisions. I think maybe I will keep them for the moment. They've got to, I mean, they've got to be available. It's just whether the help message shows them by default. I guess it's got to really. Maybe what I can do Maybe I could just call this like legacy options here. And then just show the sub commands first. And then update this so it's command options. Let's try it. Let's see. That might work. Um, so right, so we've got the help flag, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go to the usage. So what I'm thinking of doing here then is having something like this. Maybe I shouldn't call it legacy because it does have help. I'll just leave it as that. Um, and then I'll have Maybe then I just start out putting a list of sub commands. So let's do actually. Hmm, I wonder, can I? What would be nice?
can I be a little bit more clever here? And grab grab some more information from from here. What I'm wondering is can I can I combine these a little bit better? so that everything just passes out. No, I'd have to have two separate sets if I want to expose them differently. So maybe... What I'd like to do is have all these kind of pop out as automatic entries. I could do that. I could add them just to a map or something. Then again, maybe I'm optimizing way too early on that. What if, okay, if usage, how often oh. 
Don't mean to do that. Okay, so it's used a few times. I was just trying to think if I can so include the commands. As an argument to the usage. Don't think I'm not sure that's going to help actually. Let's try this. Um, do I think what's it do? Yeah, it's going to have to be. Yeah, it's going to have to be specific here. So, okay, so I do help. Um,
don't really want anything there. I want it formatted. Kind of want it a bit like this. And then lined up. Maybe I can do... Can I do T? See what this does. Uh, have I got nothing? Okay. Well, try this. See what happens. And then, um, yeah. Create a new circuit. See what that does. Okay, that's not horrid. I could work with that. Okay, I think what I need to do there is combine this and just kind of Okay, yeah, let's do that. I think that'll do for the moment. Okay, so we have... Um, oh, we don't have update yet. <laughs> we'll have to do that at some point. Um, but we do have... And... Remove... Delete, yeah. I just want to use different names for the same thing. So like here we have add, but we also mention create so that people understand the meanings better. Um I should probably do these in alphabetical order after the help. So let's also do expand, I suppose. Display a
snippets. Actually, output. Output a snippets body with placeholders. Evaluated placeholders. Yeah, we'll do that. Export Output Save snippets to a file. Uh, list. Output a formatted list of snippets Say search and put. That's it so far, isn't it? So subcommands we have are add, expand, export, list, remove. Add, export, expand. Let's put them in order. Okay, add export, add expand export list. Okay, okay. All right, let's see what that looks like. Nope, make it. Okay, help command. Display helpful command. Add. I actually should maybe tab this in one. That's just two spaces by looks things. Might do that. Uh, create a new snippet. Output a snippet's body with evaluated placeholders. Ex save snippets to a file. Search and output format a list of snippets. Delete a snippet. Okay. And we will just do Just add it on all these, I think. Oops. Do that. Okay. Link. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, so the ad needs another tab because of that space. Not sure how that plays if you um, change tab stops, but um, I could always replace it with um, like hard spaces at some point. Okay, that's interesting. That that's hold on, that's three. Did I do three? I thought. Oh, of course it adds one, doesn't it? All right, so that might actually put it back now. Might not need that. That's interesting. the wrong one. It's okay. I'll do. Okay, so that means I now need to add the help command. Uh, so if I do make test here, still passes. That's good. So let's break it. I'm going to reorder these as well. I'm going to put them in the order that they are alphabetical as such, just for fun. So I want expand well, up here, and then I want export just after. I want list after that, and then eventually we will have import. There. So I will add a command for that at some point. Not today. And then here, we want these down at the bottom. 
I want one, two, three, four. Yeah, and we'll take list and take it down here and then okay. So we've got legacy add expand export uh, I put I'm going to put those after the fact import sub commander go in there and then we've got a list of move okay so there shouldn't be any issues with that because all I've done is reorder. That's okay. And now I want to break things and add a help. So I will basically take it's kind of just going to be that kind of thing. So we'll be doing Help command. And the command is going to be help. And the arguments will be command. So we're going to have a command here and our test will be doesn't really matter but let's do add yeah it kind of does that matter actually but we'll find out so this is a good one This might break. <laughs> yeah, all right, so kind of need to do this kind of thing. We've got some sort of output. Let's start off with Oh, 
Well, we know what we're passing in as the command, so we can do this. So we can do snippet pixie. And, uh, no, we can't. Here. Oh, yes, we can. All right, so this is actually... If you do help on its own, I want the same as... Um, the default usage. That's going to be fun. Hmm. I have to chain it. Uh, usage will be starting with that. I'm doing that, okay. I'm going to expand that. So by default, that. So the normal help starts off like that when you're using snippet pixie as the binary. And then for the command help it defaults back to the same thing. But when you actually give it something good, like the add, it should, in theory, return something like that. That's what we want. And then if you pass in oops oh, 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 that's close that so if we pass in something that does not exist, like does not exist, we should be back to this format. The default saying, I don't know what you mean. Here's your options. Okay, All right, that's going to fail because we haven't written any of that code yet. So usage, blah, blah, blah. No options supplied. Eighty-three. Yeah, okay, that's fine.
It basically did what I expected there. Defaulted back. We don't get any... We don't get help here <laughs> as to which commands failed. Which is a shame. Anyway, let's implement it. Um, so we need to implement a help. Um, so nope. Hmm. Just thinking that these should be renamed. They all should really. <laughs> Let's just pluralize. I was thinking of making them take out the snippet, but if we have, um, if we have later add things like settings and stuff. We might want to retain the snippet bit. So let me just quickly fix this while I'm at it. Same for this one. One uh, singular plural plural singular don't care singular that's fine. And now we need to do the init help flag set. <laughs> Uh, so what's the simple one? Because this is going to be that's perfect. That one, yeah. We will take expand. And 
we will change it. Okay. Just do it bit by bit, I think, because uh, there's a lot, a few things to change here. We can't pass the args, so for like, if we do help dash dash not exists, then we're going to get usage. If abbreviation rather command has been set, so if we do help dash dash command and then a name, then we are good. We should do trim it and use it. This is going to be interesting actually. Yeah, hmm, it'd be interesting to see how we could do that. Hmm. Um, anyway, we'll get to there. Uh, so, command required. Gonna be a bit weird this one. Okay. So that gets us to the point where we are passing it, hopefully. Command required. Hmm. Okay, that's not right, is it? That's what I didn't want to do. I needed to have a zipper set up from 
usage versus global usage. Because at the moment, so if I make that, I do snippet pixie add. I get all these commands listed and I don't want them. It should just be add abbreviation body and here are the options instead. So this is in the wrong place. That needs to be just a global thing. So we've got two different types of usage. We've got command usage. And global usage. Okay, I think that's fair. So I will do I'm only setting that for subcommands. If I look at that. Yeah, that's the default help. Default help. Default help. Default help. So that's four of them. Just those. And then everything else is a command. Okay. All right. So we've actually got a little. Thing there. That's quite an easy, quick change, that. OK, what we'll do. OK, what we're going to do here. This. And then we're going to take all that. Let's 
do that there. We might have to just make this a global thing, make it public at some point. But basically what I'm doing here is switching this out. We don't have any options passed in, so we print the default options, which are command options. So usage, this app name, blah. And then we show all the commands and then the flag set that's passed in for the options. Sorry, flag usages. If we do get options, i.e. it's a subcommand, we use its subcommand name and stuff. Does that work? Yes. Think so. Let's try that. Okay, that's what I want for that. And that's what I want for that. So that's okay. What do I want for help on his own? Sub command display helpful. Command required. That's okay. Okay. Still don't know where that is. I'm running out of time, as always. Uh, okay. Um, Right, so what's the test that's failing? Oh, I haven't actually implemented the help, that's why, probably. Oh no, the test is wrong, because I've decided to use... Oh, 
Right, so for this test, help on its own. That should fail. And start. Like that. Because I've changed it. I want to do that now. So that's fine. So that should be like that. If you do help add, we should get snippet pixie add options dot dot dot, add, but we won't. We should get abbreviation body. the usage and then that does not exist eventually I should get that again but that might fail just now because we haven't got any checks for that. I don't know which error that is, so... Let's... Coming out this one. Not sure that's going to work. Still not working. Why? All right, so is it? Is it these things at all? Yes. So this one is failing when it shouldn't. I'm expecting that. So this is where it's going wrong. So that fails. If I don't do the test there, oh, it still fails. What? Right. 
That's the thing. It's a failing test. It should return an error. That's what's happening. Okay, it is returning the right thing. Okay, that's not a valid test in that area. So, That. Right, so these two here, these failures, they're real failures, so they need to go down. to go down here and then I need to fix them up to do the right thing so all we need we don't care about the output um, commands and stuff all we want to see is some output so we are doing And if we do help does not exist, Not got, I haven't got unexpected. Okay. I can't see what I need. Oh, that's fine. Okay. In theory, that should fail. Okay, so there's two tests that fail there. In theory, I do help with nothing or help with a command that doesn't exist. And we can do this as well. But for the real deal, I really do have to go now. Uh, that should be okay, but we'll see if this passes. I'm not sure it's going to. Right, because we haven't actually done the output yet. So that's good, that's fine. That's what we expected. So here, we haven't actually implemented this command yet. So we're not going to get we're not going to get this yet.
think. Anyway, I've got to go. Um, so I'll have to come back to that. Uh, so uh, until next time, uh, you take care.